So in the series of learning programming in C, we are discussing functions in C. In the previous video, I have discussed some basics about function like that was introduction to function. What is function and why we need functions or you can say what are the advantages of using functions, right. And there I have you know given you one program or you can say one example there we have discussed one function addition of two numbers. So we have discussed like what is function definition and what is function call a little bit, right. We have left with function declaration. So that we will discuss in this video because basically when you, you know uh, go to this uh, topic function in C typically three uh, parts are there for a function function declaration or that is also known as function prototype function definition and function call. So all the three things we will discuss detail right everything about these three uh, things of functions or you can say this is what structure of a function. So in this video I will talk about function declaration or function prototype with proper example with a program and I will show you practical also on my laptop right. But before that I just want to tell you one thing if you are looking for a great career in software development then you must have to think about the aspects like what is trending in the industry and the type of questions being asked in the interviews and how to improve your code chef ranking. So here an academy brings you a platform where you can get access to weekly shows which you can watch live and the host of these shows are 7 star coders uh, in code chef and they are also working some of the top companies like Amazon, Google, LinkedIn having years of experience and they will be covering a lot of content which is really helpful for your career. Like in live episode you can ask the tech HRs the top 20 question asked in the interviews and industry leaders about the recruitment process in the startups and MNCs and what is the eligibility criteria how to apply for them. Not only this you can also participate into mock interviews and you can also learn courses on programming languages, blockchain and crypto, data analytics and many more courses like that. And have you ever thought about how these frontline apps like Amazon, Flipkart, Prepto, Zomato were made at first place and what is the thought process behind that? So here is a show to answer all these questions. In this show their host Anuj is going to discuss the architecture breakdown of all the popular apps. So learners will get to see how these apps were made and how these apps work. So the details you can find out the detail of the show and the batch you will find out the link that I will put in the description box of this video and do not forget to use my code JKL10 to get 10% extra discount on your subscription. So now let us see what is function declaration. When we use variables in a program then before using those variables we have to declare those variables first. Suppose here the same uh, example I am taking sum this was a this is a function and here I am suppose I am here uh, writing printf enter two numbers right. So address of a and address of b I am taking name and sum is equal to a plus b right. So it will give error suppose in void main you are writing this thing and uh, here I am printing sum is equal to percentage d and sum in main you are writing only this addition of two numbers so it will give error why because you are using a b and sum and you have not declared these variables right. So when user will enter then how that value would be stored you have to tell you know these variables first of all means you have to declare these variables first. So here I am declaring int a b and sum. So when you declare variable what you are telling to the compiler the data type and name of the variable two things we are telling same before using function you have to declare function also otherwise it will give error or maybe it will not give error but always it is you can say it is a good practice to declare function before using it but it is not necessary in some situations you can omit you can you it is not necessary to declare function you can only define function and you can call function and you will get exact output means correct output. All the things all the situations all the conditions you will discuss in program right but it is always a good practice to declare function first of all right. We will see all the situations like if you do not declare a function and then you are executing a program then what will happen maybe you will get correct output maybe you will, get, you will get error or maybe you will just get warning and you will get the output whatever you want right. So now how to declare a function so this is a function this is what function definition I hope you are clear if you have seen the previous video. So here because here you are defining what this function is doing the process so it is function definition right and in main 
we call the function. So suppose before the definition here I am writing, I am writing void main and here I am calling this function sum, that is it. So this is what function calling, this is what function definition, right. So now when program runs, first of all control will go to the main function and first line is sum this means function calling. So, it will go to the definition part of the function. So, this is the definition part of the function. So, now it is going to match the function definition as well as the function declaration, right. But here we are not declaring function, right. So, how to declare this function before using, before this main, here what you can write, I'm, I hope you are not able to see this. So, I am writing here the, this side, the data type, name of function, and here in brackets some arguments or some input right but here this function is not taking anything because in the function only we are declaring uh, variables and it is not returning anything because here only I am printing sum. That also will discuss the type of function which takes argument and which returns something. These are four categories of function that later we will see. So it is simple declaration of function here you can say some argument. So, I am not taking any argument in this function. So, generally if you write the declaration of function, it is what data type or you can say return type, not data type, it should be return type. What type of value the function is returning that we will ret return, uh, that we will return here, right. So, this function is returning nothing. So, that is why I am writing void, void means nothing. Is it taking any argument? I do not want that th this function will take any argument that is why this is blank. So, rather than leave it blank, better to write here void. Why? So, that also we will discuss because if, if you will not write anything here and in calling if you write something like this 5 and 7 means I want to do sum of 5 and 7 but it will not do sum of 5 and 7 because it will call this function and here it will ask enter two numbers and whatever number we will return it will use some of those numbers. So, according to the logic it should give error, but it will not give error. If you leave it something like blank, so this would be in dilemma. If you take this then also it will not give error. If you do not take any argument here in the calling, then also it will not take, it will not give any error, right. So, do not leave the situation in dilemma, better to write here void. Means at this time if you write in declaration void and here if you are passing any argument while calling this function it will give error and that is exactly we want. It should give error because we do not want to pass any argument in function right. So, better to use here void. Everything we will discuss practically I will show you on my laptop right. So, this is what function declaration. What is the general syntax if I write return type function name arguments. So, suppose if a function is taking any argument, suppose a and b I want to pass here, right. Like I want to do sum of 5 and 7. I do not want to ask from the user. Directly I want to print sum is equal to this a plus b and it, it should print 5 plus 7 that is 12. So, in declaration part what you will do? Two arguments I want to take like int a int b and semicolon in declaration semicolon is must here in declaration part and also now in definition also that should match De declaration and definition should match. So, void data type is return type is void function name is sum fine but argument here I am passing two argument of integer type but here it is nothing so it will give error. So, better to pass here argument like int if you take like a or int b or you can take any other name also x and y and so here you can write down sum is equal to x plus y right. Suppose I am taking x and y and here I am writing x and y. Obviously you should write here x and y a and b you cannot write because a and b are here not in this one. Obviously here we are not writing this line right. I am just writing here int sum is equal to 0. I am not taking a and b because I am taking here two variables. 
so you will get some right it is not necessary to write down name of the argument in declaration you can omit this but it is always necessary to write down the data type data type of the arguments you want to pass this is always necessary integer or float or character right this is the situation when uh, function is accepting some input right but here in this case i am not passing anything so i just write down here void and semicolon i don't want to pass anything i don't want to pass anything that's it and this i want to write this i want to write this i want to write right this i want to write right and so here a plus b right so this is what function declaration so here it is types of argument means data types of argument you have to give data type right so basically the function declaration will tell compiler three things about function which type of value the function is going to return after completing of the execution right return type name of the function through which you are going to call that function that is you can say identity of that function name and a type of arguments and how many arguments you are going to pass in the function data type of the arguments int float or character and how many arguments if you want to pass two argument you have to separate those arguments with comma three argument you can pass four argument you can pass it's up to you right so three things the declaration part is going to tell the compiler right and if in declaration at the time of declaration if you don't specify the return type then by default compiler think what its data type is int so better to specify the data type here right so now let me show you practical of this whatever we have discussed here so now let me create a new file named function declaration right header file we are using here i'm using void main and the last whatever we have discussed in the previous video the add function that i'm going to you know copy that code first here right see that's it here we are defining the sum right and in main function i'm calling the sum right so a good practice is here i'm using the sum in main function right so before using first you have to declare sum so i'm declaring sum void sum and i'm providing nothing here and semicolon so this is what function declaration this part right and this is what function calling this and this is what function definition this is what function definition right so now let me run this first of all let me run this like this only so from the main function it is going to start you know and now definition and declaration it is going to match function definition and declaration both are matching yes return type is void name is exact and arguments type of arguments we are not passing any arguments so both are matching so now it will run so it is asking enter two numbers 4 and 5 and it is giving sum is equal to 9 that's it but now let's do something with this code <laughs> i am not declaring this function here right so now let's see what will happen if you don't declare the function see let me run this see yeah although it, it's running see it is asking enter two numbers it will give output correct output but you are getting here warning and not what warning you are getting see implicit declaration of function sum sixth line sixth line here because we are calling right so it will call it this function and it will check for the declaration but there is no declaration so by default if there is no declaration the compiler assume that implicit declaration of the function right and what it is it's assuming always it will uh, assume the return type of the function is integer right it is assuming that thing fine now it is assuming return type is integer but actually in the definition return type is void but still it is running it is not giving any error why because we are not returning anything here so it's fine it will run and here if you print 5 6 it will give sum is equal to 11 right but 
here the problem comes when in the definition part I want to add float number. Suppose I am writing data type of this function is float right. So, it should return like float I mean I want it should return float. So, here I am writing float a b and here I am printing percentage f sum and uh, float f and f. It is ok if you take variable is integer a b int and sum int is that is also fine and if you just change this type the return type of this function from void to float that also gives error. See now let me run this now it will not run it will give you error see see first of all warning implicit declaration of the function implicitly it assumed that the return type of the function is integer right. But actually when it finds that in definition return type is float means mismatch of the return type see conflicting types of sum it is assuming it should return int but actually you are in definition you are writing float. So, it is conflicting now so now it will not run and it will give error right. So, at this time it is you know compulsory to declare your function first before using it to get rid of the situation. So, here I am writing float sorry it is f l o a t Hamisha mein gadbar karti hu iski spelling mein hai na. See now it is asking enter two number I am entering 3.44 uh, that point 5.4 and it is giving like 8.8 .8, right. So, that is it. So, here that is why declaration is compulsory in this type of cases right and see here one more thing here we are not writing anything like void or anything. So, suppose here I am passing in calling I am passing 5 comma 7. I am passing arguments. So, according to us, us it should give may be it should give error like I want it should give error or may be I want to do sum of 5 and 6. So, now let us see what you are getting let me save in it run it. See enter 2 numbers it is asking and I am entering 4 5 and it is giving you 9 point this this because I am printing this float I am taking it f float right. So, it is not giving any error. So, it is in dilemma this is blank declaration is blank. So, it will take it can take also it does not take also it will not give any error. So, if you want that it should not take any argument I want to pass I want to enter numbers whatever number I enter it should print some of those number I do not want to pass any argument that is for sure 100 percent. So, better to write here void. Now, it is guaranteed that it will not take it will not accept any argument word means nothing. So, now if you pass in calling if you pass argument it will give you error see let me run this see error is too many arguments in function sum line number 6 line number 6 and here I am passing the column is the, that fifth I hope you you know how to uh, see the error like 6 is line number and 5 is like that you can say column number. So, too many argument to function because I do not want to pass any argument right here I have written void in the function declaration because I have explicitly declared this one and I am passing argument here 5 and 7 right. So, that is why it will give error. So, in this case just this thing and it will work fine right. So, to get rid of the situation you explicitly write down here void that would be better if you do not write that is also fine right. And see if I am not writing void here and I am writing void in definition part I am not writing void in declaration part I am writing in definition part right and here I am passing argument 4 and 5. Now, what it will give C. See now it is going to run. So, it is must to write down here in declaration part void right. If you want that this in calling it should not ask it should not you know take any argument if you give any argument it should give error. So, in declaration only you should write down here void. So, I hope this function declaration is clear to you right. When to declare a function 
when it is not necessary to declare a function right. Suppose I am not declaring function here and here also I am taking int right or it does not matter here you can take float or something like this and in this case I am not declaring anything. So, now it will give you warning only like implicit declaration of function it is ok implicitly also see let me run this see here you are getting warning implicit declaration of function implicitly it is assuming the return type of function is int and in defini definition also you are writing int right. So, it will run it will give you output right. Now, let me take another example. See here I am taking a function char name is fun and here I am taking a, a character type of variable and I am just going to enter a character and whatever it I am going to enter that I am going to return, return C. So, here I am returning a value. So, return I am returning a value whose data type is character. So, that is why the return type of this function should be char. So, I am writing here char right and in main function whatever the function is returning that I am storing obviously that function is returning something if someone is giving you something. So, you have something to hold that thing maybe you 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 hold that thing into your hand or maybe in some other you know port or something like that. So, here I am taking a character type of variable because obviously I am returning a character. So, character type of variable and in ch I am storing that value and whatever I am returning that I am going to print in main right. So, now let me run this here I am just defining this and I am calling this function here no declaration. So, according to you what it should give thing see it is giving you error expected sorry the so now let me run this see now it is giving error conflicting types of fun why because when I you are calling this function it is us it is it, it is going to this definition part and now it is going to match definition and declaration because and we are not declaring anything. So, implicitly it is assuming that the declaring that a return type of this function is integer, but actually at definition you are giving return type char. So, int and char both are conflicting. So, that is why it is giving you error. So, in this case it is must to declare this function and it is not like that outside main you have to declare before using you have to declare. So, in inside main also you can declare this function. So, inside main I am declaring data type return type must be character name is fun and I do not want to you know accept any argument and semicolon right that is it. Now, let me run this see now it is asking enter a character I am returning h and ch is equal to h. So, whatever h you are going to enter that is going to pass here h and that h would be stored in ch and I am printing here ch that is also fine, but it is better to declare the function outside main because the scope of this declaration is only now within this main. So, if you take another function like fun2 and there I am calling this function fun again. So, the declaration scope is only this. So, for that function there is no declaration of function fun function right. So, implicitly it is it will assume that declaring uh, that de uh, return type of this fun function is integer and maybe it will be conflicting. So, better to declare function outside main right. So, that scope would be throughout the program not within the main block only. Maybe in some other functions we are calling other functions it is also possible any function can call any other function right. So, here I am declaring care and uh, fun this thing is for your assignment you have to test it right you that like you are declaring a function here and in another function you are calling that function maybe. So, it is giving any conflicting type of uh, data type or not I hope you got what exercise at this right. So, you practice this thing. So, outside this fun I am declaring it. So, that is fine right. So, now I hope you got what is function declaration what kind of thing you can do with function declaration when it is necessary to declare a function when it is optional to declare a function and if you do not declare what type of warning or error you can get and in what situation 
right. So now one exercise for you is here I am returning just I am changing a little bit. I am writing this C in single quote return C right and suppose when it will ask I will enter a number uh, K, H only right. So now what output you will get you have to tell me this in comment box right. So that is it for this video now. So in the next video we will see some more about function definition and function calling with proper programs. So now it is in the next video till then bye bye. Take care.